on guys it's your boy Cecil here bring us a video here today bring us a Photoshop tour how to make your own simplistic uh, Aurora symmetrical pattern design stuff whatever the title says video here today as always guys pretty little fun story here today I asked my I think it's been a month since the last uh, simplistic video so of course I'm due for another one so this one is something really simple very cool concept I just took like the Aurora effect that I made before and then just try to make it look really cool or just something that I can put into more of a designer, uh, excuse me, a design effect rather than just being effect itself. Um, so yeah, came up with this. I think it looks pretty good. And realistically, there's only like seven or ten layers. There's, there's eleven, but I mean, like, you don't really need, you know, the, the the text or whatever. That's just whatever. But to make the overall designs around eight layers itself, it's very very simple, very quick. Um, a little repetitive, however, it's still very quick and very. It looks very good, honestly. So there's also a lot of stuff you can do with this as well. I kind of made it more of a duller, but if I wanted to use more color correction with like brightness and contrast, like I have here already, however, I can, you know, do it more than what it is. And it can look really, really cool. It can look very harsh. You can do, you can do a lot of things with like this base setup. And I think I really like it as well. So just quickly, the ideas that I have, just because I want, I don't want to lose them right now. Um, if you were to like kind of put maybe some sort of pictures and like these little creases of where the actual indentions are, and like figure out just pretty much erase it in or you kind of clip mask it in or whatever, it would look really cool. Maybe like pictures in here. I uh, can put more of these little shapes in there um you can do a lot i think you do a, a, like a lot a lot right so uh i don't know maybe like even like a little swirly line in the middle to kind of separate it and make it have like a white inside i'm trying to give you guys ideas but you guys see the envision and like the whole sort of concept coming more to what it just is right so anyways guys two likes on the video equals a secret down below which mostly be the psd of this uh video here today and if of course if you leave a like on the video please do so make sure you just pretty much follow to the end see if you guys actually do like it um also i just want to say you guys very very much for the support lately it's been like killer like honestly killer like 60 subscribers like a day what the hell okay i'm down for that um also like 102k views per month or whatever it's up there it's getting up there and i really really want to say thank you guys very very much i appreciate you guys very much as well um so yeah let's just go ahead and get this thing going i'm talking a lot because i'm sick and i don't know when to ever stop talking so yeah okay let's go ahead and get this thing going Okay, so to start this thing off, I'm going to quickly, of course, hide this group here. So I'm going to start you off with two different things. I'm going to also, let's just make this like a little darker. I believe that's will be that. That'll be that color. But anyway, the background color we're going to be using today for the hex code is 224956. It's a nice little simple blue that we have going on here. You can use whatever color the heck you guys want. However, I chose this color scheme. It looks pretty good. So, all right. And like I said, I just changed this color right here. Uh, so pretty much you just need a darker color. I would choose a darker color than what you have in the actual background. As you saw me, I didn't move my actual, uh, I guess, hue. I, what do you call it? The hue bar, sure. And it's made a little darker in the actual, like, fade. What is it called? Like, the value? The value screen? Like, a hue bar? I, I don't know. What is the actual correct term? Um. Anyway, just make it a little darker. So what I'm using is hex code 081F27. I can always change this with the hue installation. Quick little control U if I want to. But this is perfectly fine. Okay, so I do have ruler set up for the middle of my actual design here. I don't really, I don't know why I said middle like that, by the way, but whatever. Um, and to set these things up, pretty much press Control U on your keyboard, or excuse me, Control R on your keyboard to actually show the rulers up top and to the sides here. And then Control U when you actually put the rulers in is how you hide and unhide them. So pretty much, if I were to click on the left hand side and drag it to where the where you think the middle is, you'll feel like a little snap. You see this little snap is happening. That's where you can pretty much decipher that this is exactly where the middle is and you want to do that for the of course this way and of course horizontal as well so with that being said with this new layer here i'm going to pretty much use the rectangle excuse me rectangle marking tool i'm going to use the ellipse tool which is right under that one so it's of course they're both m on the keyboard so what you're going to do is you're going to pretty much click put your crosses right in the middle of those little rules that you just made press control excuse me press alt and shift i don't know why i said control but what happens is if you press alt wherever you clicked it keeps in that orientation if you don't have this then you're looking at something like this. If you hold shift, it makes a perfect circle. So holding both alt and shift will give you exactly what you guys want. So this is gonna work for me. I'm gonna put this like right around here. Like I, just the circle's gonna be a little bigger than what the actual banner dimension is. This looks perfect, this works. Okay, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna press B on my keyboard. We're gonna use a 0% hardness brush. If you guys wonder how I'm actually doing this really quickly, I'm holding alt and uh, control at the same exact time moving left and right for the diameter switch in its size and then up and down for it to switch in its hardness so if you wanted to do that you can do that i do that a lot i get a lot of people ask me and sometimes i forget to tell you guys so there's that so pretty much gonna do is gonna just click and just drag 
around the circle you want to be is very i don't know you want to you don't want to be like doing this right that's not what you want that's not going to give you the effect that you need you want to be very i guess elegant with it nah, okay um you want to be very just calm with it right just click drag click drag click drag until you get get to like the bottom half over here and then you can stop Control d to deselect by the way and i think this looks okay what i can do right now actually oops that's not what i want i don't want the liquify tool hello all right we're just oops taking the eraser really quick i just want to make a little further up i think that's okay that works out for now it's, it's whatever right something that just looks something like this it kind of looks like a, almost like a shadow indention it's why i'm going with this and so with this little layer here if you hold alt it makes a duplicate if you just drag it around but if you hold alt and shift and you move it to the left it'll bring you in that same exact orientation while also making a duplicate which works perfect right Control t to free transform of course right click inside the box pl uh, click flip vertical and I'll put it, of course, vertical in the opposite way that you kind of need it right now. So I'm going to put it lined up right with the bottom of this actual banner design here. Um, and then just move it in just like so. Maybe like around here. Uh, that'll work. Okay. And then it's going to pretty much do the same exact thing at least one more time for each exact, uh, for each shape, right? Boom. That works out. Very simple, right? So I'm going to pretty much group this together. And we're just going to call this left. And what's going to happen is, of course, control U to bring these rules back in. Control T. With this little group that I just made, duplicate it just by holding Alt and Shift and dragging again, like I said before, and then right clicking, flip vertical on that free transform, and then sort of trying to find the middle where this middle would be, maybe around here. I'm just eyeballing it right now. That is totally not correct. That's somewhat good. Yep, perfect. That works out. That's fine. And we're gonna just call this right. Okay. So I'm gonna quickly just put this text in here because it's gonna bother me if I don't do it now. Uh. Okay, I love English. Oh, okay, simplistic. There you go. Uh, for a word that I write very, like, a lot. <laughs> okay, I can do a little better than that. Um, there, that works. Right in the middle, I'm gonna just put, like, a nice little subtext, like, drop a like on the video. And then we're just gonna make this, we're gonna change this color in a second, because we're gonna have a more of a greenish tone going on here in a little few. But, uh, that works for now. Just so I can get a nice little subtext and text going on here. Perfect. Okay, that works. Now, what's gonna happen here is you're gonna make a pretty much another copy of what you just did before, but make it a little more, I guess, slimmer. These lines are very thick, and you wanna make it a little more slimmer. And you're also gonna make about eight little lines on each side, which is gonna make it just a little bit of a cooler uh, concept here. Make a new layer. You can hide them if you want to for now. And I'm gonna press M on my keyboard, bring out this little circle here, and then boom. And then take this soft brush again, and I'm a pretty very far away from the circle so I can make more thinner little indentions here. Something like that, right? So it's very thin. If you compare to this one here, or I'll just put it on the right, yeah. Very compared to this one here, much more thinner, and that's what we want to have. So make sure you do that. So on this little layer here, Alt Shift, drag it over, Control T, flip it vertical, just like so. Put it on one side, and then you can just pretty much take both of them, control U, or excuse me, control click on both of them, hold Alt and Shift again, and then just move it over. I'll just do this all the way until I get to the other side, just like so. Perfect. What's gonna happen here is I'm gonna shift on all these layers here, control G to group them together, and then Alt and Shift to move it again over again, and then control T, flip horizontal, very repetitive. You guys already know. I just wanted to make sure that I, you know, at least gave you some sort of explanation. Um perfect and if i put both of them in here now now you get something that looks like this this kind of looks like uh i guess uh, i don't know looks cool right just looks like indentions within indentions i don't know i we're, we'll call it what it is right because i have no clue okay um what's gonna happen here is i'm just gonna put this together i'll we'll just call this extra indents i don't know uh whatever N names don't matter okay all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just duplicate the right hand side really quick with Control j and I'm gonna press Control E to actually merge the entire uh, layers together because we don't really need it in the group. And we also want to change the color with using the hue and saturation, which is a very quick little shortcut, just by clicking on the layer that you just made, right, the copy that you just had, and then press Control U. <clears throat> Brings up the hue and saturation here. What you want to do immediately is click on the word colorize, and then click on the word saturation here, and just drag this bar up to about, I guess, 70%, 75 little points there, whatever. And then take your lightness, bring this up as well to about. Maybe 45 is okay. And then we're just gonna make a nice color green. I believe this is the green that I want, right? And if I want to, I can make this a little brighter, like 50. 
sure 51 and it doesn't matter whatever just make sure your lightness is up and your saturation is up and then you can change your hue and you get something like this right press ok and i'm gonna go ahead and do here is i'm gonna leave it i can actually leave it right there it's pretty per uh, perfect if i want to i can move it maybe a little more to the light like to the left using the actual uh arrow keys and also i want to change this color now because now you know what the green is I can just click on that, right? And make it a little more brighter so it kind of matches now. Okay, so with that little copy here, we're just gonna call this green lines now. All right, I forgot you can't control A. And, oh gosh. <gasps> okay, green lines, and then we're gonna make a duplicate of these green lines here. And we're gonna do, do the same exact thing over. So I'm gonna press Control U on these green lines copy. And I just bring my lightness all the way up. Makes it white, of course, right? Control T, flip it horizontal. And we're just going to do this and put this on the other side here. Right about, let's say, mm, like here-ish. So what I'm going to do for the white copy, though, is I'm going to erase this quite a bit. Just like so, right? Because I just want to have it a little bit of white. Just a little more contrast going on here. Looks pretty good at this very moment in time, which looks just freaking awesome. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to put the quick little dots in really quick. So I'm going to use a new layer. I'm, of course, going to be using the shape tool. And make sure, of course, on shape and not path or pixels. And make sure your fill is turned off by clicking on this box here and also selecting on the actual box itself to bring it up. And then make sure your stroke is on by clicking on a color. I just click on the white, which per works perfectly fine. Change your points to 1.5 and also change this little stroke option to dots. And that's what you wanna have. And now you're ready to pretty much press Control U. Find the middle, which is right here. And then hold all and shift. Let's put this where, like maybe over here. Like right there that works okay all right so i'm gonna rasterize this layer really quickly and with this rasterize layer i'm gonna make a new layer and then quickly just uh, clip mask it onto that new layer that you have so this is the actual shape layer i'm gonna call this dots so you want to have an empty layer on your dots layer clipping mask what's going to happen here is with that clip mask layer is you're going to use a soft brush or a hardness brush you can just use a hard brush if you want to and then just pretty much click right i guess uh like right here Right, just so you have little green dots uh, with also white dots in there. And you can pretty much click, control click on both of these things together. And then control E to merge it all together. And what's going to happen here is you're going to press control U to hide these layers. Take your eraser. And then just sort of erase. Just something like that. Right, and they just look, it looks okay. I could have put it in, I feel like these should be over on this side. So if I want to, I can move it over. But it's whatever, you guys kind of get the concept. That looks okay though, right? That works out for now. All right, so this is the new, let me make sure I call this dots again for you guys. All right, so quickly add two little things here. So vibrance here, take your vibrance, just put this up to about 40% for the vibrance. Just leave your saturation alone, that's perfectly fine. And then one last brightness and contrast for your color correction here. And you're gonna pretty much use 18 brightness and uh, 45, 45 saturation. What the, or 45, what the heck was that by the way? That was weird. 45 contrast, excuse me, not saturation. And with that being said, I need to take my green lines here, control U, and maybe either lower it down like so, or lower, it, put it up, I don't know, no, down, definitely down. They're a little bit too vibrant, you can just change that with using the hue and saturation, and just lowering down your lightness. And I think that looks pretty good. Looks pretty baller, okay, that works out. So the last thing I did was these little pattern lines. If you guys don't actually have my little pattern lines, they're not mine, excuse me, if you don't have the pack that I have, it's, I think you can find it very easily. If not, I'll put it in the secret download as well so you guys can just work on that, right? Um, so what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna make a new layer for now. And I put it all, all the way on the bottom, of course, just right above the actual background color. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna find the middle, press M on our keyboard for the ellipse tool, right? The ellipse circle tool. And we're just gonna pretty much put it right here. Uh, or like right here. All right, so make the circle big enough so that you can see where you kind of want the empty spot where it has no pattern in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on this and then select the inverse. So what's gonna happen here is everything's gonna be selected besides the circle that you just created. So what you're gonna do now is fill this up in any color, it doesn't matter at all. If you press Alt Backspace, it quick fills a color in for you. And what's gonna happen here is with this new layer here, we're just gonna call this pattern. We're gonna lower our fill down all the way from 100 to zero. What happens with this is it does get rid of the opacity. It kind of works the same way as opacity, but opacity is the completion, or excuse me, the complete sort of opacity of the actual entire layer. But if you lower down to fill, it doesn't matter if you actually have layer styles on it because they're still gonna be seen at 100% opacity. And that's why, of course, if you looked here, there's an opacity rating here as well within the layer styles because if you did lower down your fill, this is how you would change your opacity, you know, using, if you wanted to have layer styles, have a lower opacity. So 
you get that now cool so what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna figure out which lines I want I think I want like these I mean you can pretty much choose whatever the heck you guys want but I'm gonna go with I think yeah I'm gonna go with these lines here I'm gonna put this on I believe maybe multiply multiply looks pretty good press ok right so you can see now now you have these little little uh, I guess you know patterns here I'm gonna really quickly rasterize this rasterize this excuse me so what I'm, gonna ha I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna put this on multiply over here now and I'm gonna just take my eraser you see these very hard lines here I'm gonna erase these because I don't want that to be shown like that oops I don't want that to be shown like that and like right there right there sure now what's gonna happen here you have this really cool little conscious of of pattern and then like very simplistic clean inside and so yeah I think that's pretty much it now for me right now this is not working out for the whole contrast I might have to bring this up a little bit right and what the cool thing about this is you have these things grouped together you can still go into it and kind of move it either one if you want to like you can maybe have something closer over here to give it more of a I guess not a complete symmetrical feeling right so if you really want to do that you go ahead and do so right it does not really matter if there's a lot more stuff you can do like I said if you wanted to see what I meant by the whole picture stuff what you would do is pretty much take a pen tool right and then sort of pen tool this out here and then be like boom and then uh oops sure let's just say that, that right there right if i were to make a new layer excuse me make selection press ok on a new layer right just fill it in with any color so what you would do is you would lower your fill down <coughs> excuse me and then just like take whatever picture and then uh do i have a picture do i not i don't have a picture let me get a picture all right so i got a picture i got a simple little overwatch picture and also remember that you do not want to have this on a zero percent fill but just put that back to 100 percent really quickly and what's going to happen here is take your little picture here and just right click this clip mask it on there and then you can kind of figure out where you want to have it and you can just either put it on maybe luminosity or something like that and just lower the opacity down right um you can choose this color whatever you guys want it to be like you can have it be white or whatever but kind of get the point there's a lot more you can do with this just kind of like structure it right think about it more and then you'll definitely find something that looks really cool and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed today's video of course two likes like uh, as always two likes on the video equals a secret down below um yeah so i definitely think this is like a really cool little fun concept for you guys to try out of course if you take more time with it you'll look more organized stuff like that like this one right here i might even mess around with the uh excuse me the color correction a little bit for the actual secret uh i guess the intro video or whatever because yeah I, I feel like i make it look a little cooler so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll talk to you guys next week. And I also, I don't know if I mentioned it already in the beginning of the video, but if you made it to the end, I'm going to mention it again. And if you maybe just weren't paying attention, I'm going to get a new PC next week, which means, of course, of course, I'm live streaming a lot more. I will, I promise. And maybe even like, I don't know, maybe play video games, not on the channel or anything like that, but like maybe on Twitch or whatever. But I don't know, we'll figure it out at that very moment in time. But just, it's really cool. Maybe I'll have an updated setup video because I did change my room just a little bit. Probably already saw it when I did my vlog or whatever, but uh yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so very much for watching i don't know how the hell i made a six layer tutorial turn into a 20 minute video but that's kind of what happens when you start talking a lot so uh yeah i'll talk to you guys later this is hq out peace do not forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive